on today's video, well, <laughs> the jumper account is looking for a new home. That is right. In this video, we're gonna talk about the situation in 541, the end tail of this KVK, the everything that came after, well, a little bit of the things that came after, and how we ended up going from winning a mightiest governor to having to look for a new home. So sit back, smash a like on the video. Hey there YouTube, welcome back to Gecko Gaming. Yeah, the Jumper account, an account that we've been putting a lot of work into as of late, 55 million power strong, had the opportunity to lead a decent amount of rallies and a decent amount of work in 541's efforts in Lost Kingdom 57. Ultimately, even that ended up being a little bit of a letdown for the kingdom, for the allies, for everything along the way. And with that came what usually happens when kingdoms lose two KVKs in a row. Before we start though, I am a sponsored content creator by Rise of Kingdoms. If you enjoy the content, slap a like on the video, subscribe to the channel, hit the bell to get a notification every time we upload a new video. And of course, don't forget to leave a comment down below. Let me know if you're new to the channel, if you have any questions, comments, suggestions, anything down below. Anyway, so our KVK went from bad to worse to terrible to like really, really, really bad very quickly. Uh, to sum it up very briefly, uh, the odds versus evens were supposed to duke it out in kingdoms in the 500s. Um, we had two teams of dark and light and darkness that were, were doing all right. Uh, our big boys were kingdom, the kingdom in, uh, well, that's not in their zone here no more, in baby blue for uh, this, uh, this, the folks of 87. And up against them went 74, 58, 528. Um, and it's like we, we, we have the two teams in here, right? We built up a good set of teams. The fight was on. And um, from the beginning for 541, it, it became an impossible task to outnumber the amounts of bodies that are on the field for these guys. These guys are truly, truly, and there's Nora just doing what Nora, Nora things. Uh, their numbers are truly astounding and they overran us very very quickly and pretty much locked us out of this zone from almost the very beginning from there uh our enemies our, our alliance couldn't handle the pressure of course a 3v1 is very tough add to that when it becomes a 2v1 uh when the guys in red are also fighting both uh, or but better yet, the folks in green are both fighting yellow as well as orange is fighting yellow. So yellow falls down quicker because it's a 2v1. And then it became a 3v1 and a 4v1 against the big kingdom. It was a mess. It ended up causing even crazier stuff like folks cussing each other out and talking mad smack and all that good stuff. And then our allies ended up going as far as attacking our other allies. 87 fought uh, just went up against 43 and just pushed them out of the, the zone altogether. Like you can see, this zone right here is pretty much open for picking for red and blue. Uh, Baby blue just straight up on top of making a deal with the guys, with our opposition um, very early on in the KVK when they pretty much noticed that this was over from our side. I think they also caved. Um, th th there was some very weird stuff happening in this KVK. But this also led to a whole crumbling down of a kingdom right 541 uh the one prior one thing that all of us agree with is that nobody showed up to fight uh well and nobody is a, is a harsh word because there's a group of 50 60 80 players that did show up and fight at, at some sort of capacity shape or form but the group that was online 24 7 like all of the kvk I don't really know if it was bigger than 15, 20 people that were on like the whole time in K in Kingsland. And even those who were had their own preoccupations and there goes Nora shielding up. Uh, and, and that's okay, right? But the bottom line is there was no participation. And when there's no participation in a kingdom that has 400 plus active folks, like three alliances, very, very, very active people, uh, not showing up at all for KVK, it's an issue that leadership doesn't necessarily want to or know to know how to or feel like dealing with. And I definitely get that. Push came to shove and the bottom line is uh, 541 will be no longer as far as I know. Um, 
a lot of the groups within the leadership had their own arguments and discussions and disagreement. Ultimately, one part of leadership is pulling to some direction. Another part is migrating, if not already migrated already, out of the kingdom. Um, people are either suiciding their cities. You can see Dev was in chaos a few moments ago, and now he isn't anymore trying to get a little bit of kills, dropping his power down for potential migrations. Um, these are not bad things, right? You can it's just like easily doable, but it, it's a it, it kind of sucks, right? Folks have been migrating, teleporting inwards to get rallied to then uh, be able to migrate cheaper. It happens. It is what it is. It's I don't blame anyone for what happened here. It's it's the life cycle of a kingdom. Occasionally, a kingdom just doesn't make it. And 541 had a very harsh KVK bef uh, before this one in season two, where they lost in a fight that lasted for so long that a lot of them zeroed themselves out. So I can also understand how they ended up troops less or resources less or spirit less to fight. But the bottom line is that 541 is probably not gonna remain our kingdom for very long. And so what am I looking for? I would like to migrate to a kingdom that's younger than 541, which means going 542 and, and, and beyond, right? But I am not looking to go to the 800s. I'd really like to not even make it to the 700s. And if I make it to the 700s, the early 700s, 710, 720 at most, I don't want this account to go too far backwards. And here's the problem. If we keep jumping backwards, which is a completely understandable thing that people do, they just want to do KVK season two again and again because it's the more fun version of KVK. Um, you need to have the KVK2 capabilities. And as of right now, my account has no capabilities. The capabilities that this account has is a strong Atelotokata rally, which is season three material. So for me, repeating season three is pretty much the go-to for this particular run. In the upcoming migration, whichever, whenever it happens, how it happens, where it happens, it's not determined just yet. We're gonna have to shift our focus a little bit on how we wanna build up this account because originally our next commander was indeed going to be Alexander as part of our fun types, uh, our fun accounts that we were going to build. But we might have to now go for a little bit of a con and then Alexander. Maybe Alexander is still a viable option. Maybe Guan will no longer be an option as it's a KBK season three commander. And if I'm gonna go into season three right now, I might do an Alex um, Alex Khan situation where after that for the next KVK we hop into a season two and then we have Alex and Khan and Saladin all available for season two. My account as of right now is not geared up for season two KVK. I cannot do very much on a season two KVK with the commanders I have currently available. The commanders that I can get however will get there but we cannot jump that far backwards yet. So we're looking for a kingdom within the 550s to the 710s, 720s that is gonna go into a KVK, into a strong KVK. I would love to lead rallies. I'm not the optimal rally leader. I'd love to be one of the top 10 rallies in the kingdom maybe that can be contrib contributing in some shape or form. Um, a kingdom that can also understand that we're going to need through to go through some grind of equipment, get our pendant going on, um, get our get more of the this account built up somewhere where I can get this account more built up. I don't mind going through mightiest governors of Atel Takeda and, and wheels of Atel Takeda if that means I get to save a little bit of gems and just pour them into Garden of Infinity strictly into Garden of Infinity and into VIP instead of having to spin wheels, knowing that I'm not gonna spin wheels for the next two months. Uh, that's also something I'd be okay with going through. However, if that comes to be the case, I will probably migrate only after I spin Guan Yu. Um, and so it'll have to be a, a conversation between the kingdom and myself as to when your next KVK starts, uh, what kind of capabilities will I, what do we have there? Um, where do you want me to be? What kind of role you want me to play? And of course, it'll give me some time to work on my farms. So yeah, 541 is imploding slowly and steadily, unfortunately so. I wouldn't have said that I didn't see this coming. I kind of did. I migrated to 541 last minute kind of thing because I really wanted to revive this account. And I'm really thankful I did. And I'm really thankful in 541, I managed to get this done, which for me was a completely crazy achievement. We unlocked Attila and Takeda expertise and all that good stuff within a period of like, six weeks, two commanders, wheels, full equipment. We got to rally, we got to 
kill some cities, we got to kill some flags. It was a really fun time, but we need a new home. And unfortunately, what I can offer right now is an Atelta rally to whoever needs it. And so let me know. Hit me up on Discord. That's the best place to catch me. Understand that the more likely outcome is that just like you right now, there's going to be like 50 others that are going to message me. And I'm not saying I'm Mr. Popular, right? That's not the point. But the point is, please be patient with me. It'll take me probably a day or two or even a little bit longer than that to go through messages. Uh, I, I'm already behind on today's messages, for example. So please keep that in mind. This account has what it takes, right? We have a 10% a skin lined up in here. We got uh, enough tier fives that we led rallies with tier fives, no problem, never ran out of tier fives. We lost a lot of them in the process. We're ready to, to build up again our bag um, slowly after I spent well over 3 billion resources within six weeks in Kingdom 541. We're now rebuilding our bags. We're now rebuilding our our everything, right? So. That's the plan for the next few few weeks, probably. We're gonna rebuild this account to be a little bit more stacked in terms of resources, in terms of materials, in terms of blueprints, in terms of everything. We're gonna get Guan Yu unlocked and wheels spun up, and then we'll probably migrate to a younger kingdom where we'll be able to use all this firepower uh, for another KVK. So let me know in the comments, or well, better yet, in Discord, if you're someone from a leader, from leadership from a kingdom that I, I can come to, please let me know. Please understand if you're someone who's a member in your kingdom that wants me to be there, you messaging me is pointless. I would need you to talk to your leadership and to your lead for your leadership to agree to this, and only then let me know. We've had a situation where someone jumped the gun and went as far as telling me, yeah, migrate, don't worry about it, it'll be okay, just migrate right now, and I didn't do it because I knew that this could be an issue, and it turned out to be an issue, and leadership didn't want me there eventually. So please, if your leadership hit me up, 550s to the 720s, I'm open for suggestions, I'm looking to fight, I'm looking to lose my troops, I'm looking to lead rallies, and I'm looking to build up this account to fight on the open field a little bit more than we did in the last KVK. We'll be doing that through an Alexander expertise. Probably we'll even go as far as making do getting Khan too if we end up hopping backwards and have more time. We'll see. But for now, we're building an account to be a mini mini Titan account for when we need it. So stay tuned for that. Uh, I appreciate it. If you drop a like on the video, subscribe to the channel. I'm Gekko. I'm out of here, and I'll see you all sooner rather than later. Enjoy the rest of your week and take care. Peace.